Hi everyone, I hope you are all well and that you've had a wonderful half term. Today, I would like to speak to you all about LGBTQ plus History Month and how, like Miss Banton has said in Harris News, we should be celebrating such indiv inspirational individuals every month. We also have a very important job to do. Due to the prejudice and discrimination LGBTQ plus people have faced in the past, the achievements of many have been written out of history. It is therefore imperative that we give voices back to those who were silenced and make visible those whose lives have been hidden. So how are we going to do this? Well, using the Voices and Visibility website, we would like you to research an individual who has been forgotten, but who was truly inspirational. We would like you to write a short description of your individual and explain why they must be remembered. We will then bring all your pages together to make our very own Little Leaders book, which we then can keep in the library. If you're quite creative, you can also draw an image of your chosen individual and include some inspirational quotations. Alternatively, you could create a piece of artwork based around your research, which can be displayed at school so that we are constantly reminded of the positive contributions LGBTQ plus people have made to our society and so that we can rewrite them back into history where they belong. So one such individual who you could research and who is relatively well known now is a man called Alan Turing. Alan Turing was a brilliant mathematician. In 1939, Turing took a full time role at Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire, where top secret work was carried out to decipher the military codes used by the German, sorry, used by Germany and its allies. The main focus of Turing's work at Bletchley was in cracking the Enigma code. The Enigma was a type of enciphering machine used by the German armed forces to send secret messages. Turing played a key role in this, inventing a machine known as the bomb. This device helped to significantly reduce the work of the code breakers and from the mid 1940 German Air Force signals were being read at Bletchley and the intelligence gained from them was helping the war effort. However, in 1952 Alan Turing was arrested for homosexuality, which was then illegal in Britain. He was found guilty of gross indecency. This conviction was eventually overturned in 2013, but avoided a prison sentence by accepting chemical castration. In 1954, he was found dead from a cyanide poisoning. An inquest ruled it was suicide. So what is the legacy of Alan Turing? Well, the legacy of Alan Turing's life and work did not fully come to light until long after his death. His impact on computer science has been widely acknowledged. However, the work of Bletchley Park and Turing's role there in cracking the Enigma code was kept secret until the 1970s. And the full story was not known until the 1990s. It has been estimated that the efforts of Turing and his fellow code breakers shortened the war by several years. What is certain is Turing and the people he worked with saved countless lives and helped to determine the course and outcome of the conflict. It is therefore critical that when we teach and when we learn about the Second World War, we learn about Alan Turing. Another inspirational individual is Marsha P. Johnson. So Marsha P. Johnson was a trans rights activist who played a big role in important moments for the LGB, LGBTQ plus movement, such as the Stonewall protests. Marsha was an African-American gay man and a drag artist from New Jersey. At this time, being gay was classified as a mental illness in the US. Gay people were regularly threatened and beaten by the police and were shunned by many in society. In June 1969, when Marsha was only 23, police raided a gay bar in New York 
called the Stonewall Inn. The police forced over 200 people out of the bar and onto the streets and then used excessive violence against them. Marsha, who was living and working in New York at the time, was one of the key figures who stood up to the police during the raids. Marsha then led a series of protests and riots, demanding rights for gay people. News of these protests spread around the world, inspiring others to join protests and rights groups to fight for equality. A month after the protest, the first openly gay march took place in New York, a pivotal moment for the gay and trans community everywhere. Even though the Stonewall rights kick-started this wave of support for the LGBTQ plus community, there was still a lot of discrimination against them. It was common for young gay and trans people to be kicked out of their family homes by their parents. Marsha and a friend, who was also an activist, founded STAR, Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, an organisation to support gay and trans individuals who had been left homeless. Much of Marsha's life was dedicated to helping others, despite suffering several mental health issues. Marsha was nicknamed the Saint of Christopher Street, where the Stonewall Inn is located, because of the generosity they had shown towards people in New York's LGBTQ plus community. Marsha went missing in 1992, and six days later, the police found Marsha's body. They said nobody else had been responsible for the death, but many friends argued this ruling at the time. Sorry, argued against this ruling at the time, saying attacks on gay and trans people were common. After the NYPD reopened the case, the police reclassified Johnson's cause of death from suicide to undetermined. Marsha's legacy lives on today in organisations such as the Marsha P. Johnson Institute, which says it protects and defends the human rights of black transgender people. Again, Marsha P. Johnson might not be very well known, and yet they deserve their place in history because of their self-sacrifice and their kindness and their contribution to the eventual rights of LGBTQ plus people. So whoever you choose to research, whether it's Anne Turin, Marsha P. Johnson, Wilfred Owen, we look forward to receive your contributions to help us celebrate LGBTQ plus history at Harris Garrard Academy. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.